Hello my friends and enemies like hope you're as good as can be in these dark times. What you're about to hear is a phone recording of a called housing that was a not-for-profit not organisation that's now called Green Square Record which is now a charity status organisation. However, you're still dealing with the same corrupt, racist, aggressive staff members it's always had except their wages have improved vastly as they're now receiving all the benefits of a charity status you gotta laugh at that CEO Ruth Cook went from £150,000 a year as a not-for-profit to a mind-blowing £200,000 a year as a charity and that's more than the Prime Minister anyway let me put this phone call into some kind of context but this is the main reason why they're now trying to evict me well they're going to evict me they just they just had enough of me now when I am really done anything except fight my corner and this is what this corporation is, it's disgusting towards its tenants and it's been disgusting and you'll see its actions towards me. Anyway, back to this phone call. At this point, I've only discovered that there's something wrong because of a simple phone call to check my balance and I was told on the Friday that my account was £300 in, in credit and then told on the following Monday that my account was £400 in arrears and this was just a mistake. I've then asked for paperwork for a month with phone calls and nothing forthcoming I made six or seven phone calls to this office, nothing, they just ignored me. I just kept fobbing me off, yes you'll get this, yes you'll get that. I then demanded a meeting to produce documents to find out what's going on and my spider sense was telling me something's not right here. Then this phone call, what you're about to hear, which was, I don't know why, because there was a meeting two days later, where she becomes adamant at the beginning and totally deflated at the end, because during this phone call, Accord Housing, aka Green Square Accord, is going to pursue me for this one to the end of the, to the end of days. Two days after this call, when when they were forced to produce some of the documents, all of a sudden, when they realised, I realised that they never had that tenancy agreement in the first place, and I worked out that I'd been robbed, that they no longer wanted any more of this money, and they're not going to pursue me for any more of it except just to relieve rent arrears on my account. So I can't move and I'll always have these arrears on my account even though they're not going to pursue me for no, the money that they've got. They haven't got proof of claim. Nothing. Just the fact that I've paid, contributed towards the bill. Which is the reason they conned me in the first place. But I did pay something towards that bill and that does constitute a contract. However, they never gave me equal consideration. They never gave me any consideration at all. They just made me believe I owe this money when I figured it out. That's why I'm a pro in this company and that's why they're going to uh, eventually evict me for doing nothing. Anyway, enjoy. Say so, so that again, sorry. Are you okay to talk? Yes. Okay. Um, I've been passed this case as a former tenancy at 21 Lower North Street. Yeah. And who, okay. are, who are you again? Let me get some details. Uh. Can I have your name please? Tracy Hill. Tracy Hill. And yeah, and, you, yeah. and what's, your, what's your job title? Business support officer. Support officer? Business so, support officer, yes. Yeah. Say that again, sorry, it's a bad line. It's okay, business support officer. Case okay, support officer. Business support Oh, business, officer. oh sorry, oh sorry. Because it's raining, it's a bad connection, you see. I oh, know, it's, it's keeps going, doesn't it? So, yeah, so, so I, do yeah. I do apologise, because I was struggling to hear you sometimes. Yeah, go on then. Okay. Um, I understand that you've been questioning the contractual rights of the former tenancy at 21 Lower North. Yes, that's correct. Okay. So, um, I've been asked to give you a call to tell you that we don't rely on the document you were asking for. Well, um, unfortunately, your company does. Hello? Uh, 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 sorry. Uh, uh, I said, unfortunately, your company does. Where, where have you had that information from? What, you, your memorandum of association? All companies have got them. It's a, it's a reasonable request. I can actually get it myself if I go through company house, but it costs me £20 to get the report on you. Okay, but the fact remains that we're not we're not relying on that to chase you for your contract. Well, this, this we're going on contract. Can I just can I just, can I just speak? Yeah, you're going on contract. The problem I've got is this: 
When we had the tenancy agreement, are, are you legally trained? No, I'm a, a support officer. So if you're not legally trained, do you have legal knowledge? Uh, okay. Um, that's exactly. That's the point I'm trying to make is, do you understand what contractual law is? Yes. Oh, so you understand the, the process of having a contract and that for another for another party to demand a, money from a, another party, there has to be some form of contract. Do you understand that concept? Yes, and the tenancy was the contract. Yes, but the tenancy ended. When the tenancy ended, we had no contract. When I applied to your company again, you may believe that I still owe this money when there was no contract. There was never another contract until another tenancy agreement was signed, which is absolutely nothing to do with that contract. You failed to inform me that you that you that you wrote off, wrote off the debt. You failed to inform me that you reinstated the debt. And if we had no contract, how can you reinstate the debt? No, it wasn't reinstated. It what was, was it wrote then? Off. Yeah, it was wrote off. So it, was the, really, no, it, was, it was put to one side on our system. It wasn't a write off. Okay, then, okay. It was yeah. off the desk. We've moved it from the live system because you know, currently? Yes. So we've moved it from the live system. It was never wrote off. So, if there's no contract, and I had no contract with your tenancy agreement... Your form of your, your tenancy agreement is a contract. You did not you did not follow that contract. You didn't pay all of your rents during the tenancy. Yes, the tenancy but the, yes I, I accept so that. It continues until we have a right. If we can prove the debt is outstanding, we have a right to change. Yes, and that's, that's my next question. Do you have proof of claim? Yes, we do. Can you provide me with the proof? You have a contract. That, so the problem we've got is I have a contract that there was no, at the time, when you said I owe this money, there was no contract between us. Can we no, agree? The, no, no, no. The, the, the debt is from before the contract ended. Yeah, and then the contract ended, Not which means after, there is no... No, the, no but you could, we can claim for any debt that they stand you. You sign that tenancy agreement to say you would always pay your rent weekly on a Monday, but you didn't, you failed that contract, the, the debt was outstanding at the end of that contract. Regardless of the debt, the, it doesn't clear, it doesn't at any point in that contract say that it clears any debt. You didn't... You didn't complete that contract. Uh, yeah, and the contract was terminated and you wrote the debt off, which means there is no contract. No, so it when you said off. so what you so it the wasn't wrote off. Well then can you say me off. Can you send me can, you can, can I stop you there please? Did can you, you send me the paperwork that says what you were just saying? And show me the law. That's, I'm not talking about the company policy. I'm talking about the law here. I need to see the law that says that I was lawfully Lawfully had to pay this money. I mean, if it's lawful, I've got a problem. I will pay you the money. Yes, I've been paying the money. Under, it's under a contractual law. That yeah, which law? Is it, what, what kind of law? Is it a statute law? Is it the Finance Act? I'm asking you to say, show me which law that you say that I owed you this money and I had to pay it because, as I can see, there was no contract and I cannot see. Uh, uh, you can say I owe you the money. Because there was a contract. There was a contract. You, you, you need. I don't you need to prove anything. You the you emphasis of proof is on you. You have to provide me with proof. So what I'm asking is, no, the common... You, you, the, the, the emphasis would be on you to prove you don't owe the debt. Why have you been paying it if you didn't, if you believe you didn't owe the debt? That's the next point. I'm, that, this, this is the next point that I'm... This is the next point that I'm getting to. The point I'm getting to is, I believe you've obtained money by deception, and that's a criminal act. So unless you can provide me with these documents, which is what I'm asking for, I'm going to be taking legal action, and then I'm, I'm not sure who to take legal action against, but I'm, I'm positive. I can't take legal action against a corporation, so I've got to let, take a legal action against somebody personally. It's, it's contractual law. It's contractual law. Contractual law. You pay your rent weekly. Yes. A, a contractual law is statute law. Do you understand the difference between statute law and common law? Hello? No. No, you don't understand the difference between statute law and common law. I am not governed by statute law, except for my consent. And I consented to pay you this money under the promise that I owe this money. And if you can't provide a contract saying no, I owe this money, all you can provide is a contract that's no longer a contract. When I applied to your company, I didn't have a contract with you. You made me believe that I owe this money. And I'm asking you to provide me with documentation that says I owe this money. 
Can you do that? I'll just do a housing officer is handed yeah, but but they were arrears outstanding. Yeah. No, we have not got the tenancy for 21 lower. Not to pay your weekly rent on top. And you wrote that debt off. Well, it wasn't wrote off. I don't want okay, to be writing it. Yeah, can you prove that that was wrote off? Give us nothing basically that you can do about paying that. So they wrote that account off and then they've written it back on. Have you got it in writing that we, we chose to write that debt off? You've got a tenancy agreement? Yeah, but it's not written that way. Yeah, but it's not written that way. Yeah, but it's not written that way. You've got a tenancy agreement? The tenancy, no, the agree tenancy the agreement doesn't say at any point when you've got a copy of the tenancy agreement. The tenancy agreement does not say it's been wrote off. Well, I'm going to say, come make it before this. This is the point I'm trying to say. I'm going to send you a conditional acceptance. I'm asking you to provide me. It does not say that we have wrote the, wrote the debt off. Well, can you provide me with that, please? Provide you with what? What you've just said. The tenancy agreement. Listen, right, you need to provide. Listen, right, we are, I'm getting nowhere with you because you've got absolutely no legal training. So, what is your, what's your name again? Tracy Hill. And your Tracy job, Hill. And your job is business support. I need to speak to somebody with some kind of legal training. I've also got to come to a meeting. I'm asking for the documents. I will make a, condi a conditional acceptance to make you provide me with these documents. Unless you can provide me with proof of claim that I owe this money okay. at the time when there was no contract, you've got a problem. There was a contract. There was, there was, you, you failed to pay well, the contract. Well, if you've got a contract, Roy, right, if you've got a contract and the contract finishes and the contract's not renewed, is there a contract? No, you didn't pay the ter under the terms of the contract while the contract was running. You left an outstanding debt. And you wrote that debt off? No, it's not been wrote off. Then can you provide me the evidence? Off. Can you provide me the paperwork? That's what I'm asking provide for. Provide evidence. Have we, wrote, have we said to you at any point, have we wrote to you a fully continue evidence that we've wrote it off? Have I got any evidence that you've wrote it off? I didn't find out until last week because you didn't inform me. Inform you of what? Inform me that I actually owed this money. I'm asking you to provide me proof of claim. If you don't understand this, write these words down. Proof of claim. You don't have proof of claim. You can say you had a previous contract, which is now no Say that I owe the money. But unless you show me actual paperwork corresponding to the debt that I actually owe now, with a contract that I didn't have, and you claim that I owe this money, which is the point I'm trying to make. I believe you've obtained money by deception by not informing me about this process whatsoever. And that your interpretation and my interpretation are different. When the judge interpretates it, his interpretation will be different, which I will see. But the bottom line is, I don't have, I have a contract. I'm now putting this bill in dispute, mainly because of you. I'm not paying another penny now. Until you provide me with this paperwork, I'm going to write, send you a conditional acceptance and I'm going to ask you to provide this, this paperwork and this document okay, to me, I'm you gonna, personally. I'm gonna do. You can do what you want and I'm, I'm, being, I'm, I'm actually going to make a complaint about you, to be fair, for the way you've talked to me and treated me like this. Somebody with no legal training, talking to me the way you have. I'm going to make... Uh, uh, can you explain to me your contract? Can you explain to me? Stop, stop talking a sec, please. Can you explain to me the complaint procedure about you? Please, because I wish to make a complaint. Yeah, you're gonna, telling me the law and you're not legally trained. I'm going to ask. You can ask what you want. I want the complaint procedure. No, I don't want to speak to you anymore. I want either your manager or I want the complaint process. I'm asking for the complaint process. I'm going to ask my manager to give you a call. Yeah, you ask my manager to give me a call. No, you call me again because you're arrogant and I'm making a complaint against you. I've got you recording what you've said and you listen to the way you've spoken to me. I'm asking you to provide me paperwork. You're telling me you don't have to provide me paperwork. Yes, you I do. I just say I don't, you have to prove you don't owe the debt. I don't owe the debt. Show me a contract saying that I owe this debt. Show me a piece of paper saying I owe it. You don't have that. Like the tenancy agreement? Uh, yes, which is an old contract, which is it's not longer binding. That's and that's understand I'm not governed by statute law. You've been nothing but offensive, obtrusive. You've been un unbelievably rude to me, to the fact that I'm angry because, because okay. of what you've said. I no longer want to I, speak I to I you. I wish to make a complaint against you and I wish to speak okay. to your manager. Well, not later, you know. Let me ask my manager to give you a call. Yeah, give it again to call my I'll make it, I want the complaint, no, before you hang up, I want the complaints procedure to make a complaint about you. Okay, I'll ask it to, I'll ask No, I'm not asking call. me, I want you to complain. As you can see and you heard, they rely upon the tenancy agreement, the tenancy agreement they never had in the first place. So they just ripped me off because they could, they took that money off me, they had no contract, they had no tenancy agreement. They just made me believe that I owe this money. And because I paid some money towards it, that constitutes that I do owe the money. 
However, what they did was they come here, they didn't give me equal consideration, they didn't give me any consideration at all. They just made me believe that I owe, I owe this money and I had to pay it. Even now, two days later, they provided me the documents to let me find out about all this and I never ended up paying a penny of that money. They just held it in arrears against me so I couldn't move. Thank you for listening. Stay safe.